For this problem, the question was, many devices are non-ohmic and therefore you cannot use Ohm's law to determine the current or voltage across them. Suppose we consider a non-ohmic load which requires power in the amount of P and is connected to a transmission line. The transmission line is subject to joule heating uh, losses discussed on page 765 of your textbook. Show that the efficiency of power delivered to the load is highest at high voltages. The formulas were R um, is equal to the res resist resistivity um, times the length divided by the area. Um, this equation right here, which is the resistivity, is equal to the initial resi resistivity multiplied by 1 plus the um, C, which is the temperature coefficient of resistivity, which is different for every material. Um, times temperature minus temperature initial. Um, then I also have this equation down here, which is power is equal to V squared divided by R, which is what normally is for ohmic um, materials. And here's the work I did. Um, resistivity is equal to, you know, right here. Um, then I use this equation right here and plugged them in. Um, what makes a material non-ohmic is the fact it does not follow a straight line when you're looking at, oh, it's not even close to a straight line. Um, when you're looking at V squared over R, and that would be an ohmic material. Um, what I'm going to try to show is how that doesn't matter as much um, at high voltages. Um, so we have this power, and power is V squared divided by R. Now in this case, what makes it non-ohmic is this C coefficient um, changes at a higher rate. So it's not like V squared over R. It might be, well it doesn't necessarily, it could be V squared for a non-ohmic surface, this R is changing at a different rate, so this doesn't work, so it'll be like, let's just throw in there, like, R to the, I don't know, it'd be like R to the one-half or something like that, um, because of the C value. The C value, say, we make C is equal to 1, and we do all the math on it, and the temperature difference, the change in temperature, is uh, starting at 1, and this starts at 1, too. So then we have this bottom value to be 1 at 10 volts. So 100 divided by 10 is equal to a power of 10 watts. Um, and then if we you know, keep this going and make this change differently, whatever, make this value 2 all the way down here. So this total value is 2, so then we have, you know, 105 divided by 2, I don't know what that is, but anyways, you'll get this graph that looks like this purple graph if the C value is not constant, or if it's uh, different than the normal one, um, the C value isn't relatively zero, so if there's like a high C value, but um, as the temperature, like so, as if I don't know what exactly what it is, but if C is greater than like a certain number, um, you'll have a large change in R in this value right here. And but as temperature as the volts are higher, so like as you know volts are become like in the tens of thousands, um, say C will have a lesser effect because it'll have a lesser growth rate than V squared, because C will not be a value C will be a constant, so um, any number over like say V squared is over like you know 10,000 ohms or whatever at that temperature, and the C is equal to like 10, which I think would be relatively large considering copper's you know, like nearly zero. Um, you would as this squared value of you know, 10,000 up here, if we square this 10,000 up here, it becomes a 
Uh, is that right? One, two, three, four, one. Um, it'll be a hundred million times over, let's say, a C value of 10, which would make it somewhere around 100,000 ohms. And you can see a huge difference between when I had only a C value, or when I only had a C value of 10 and the temperature only went up like, you know, the temperature was maybe 10 degrees. Um, you can see the huge difference in how as we go up higher, this V squared grossly um, changes versus this constant rate of change, well, relatively constant rate of change at that high value. And I hope this proves it. Um, there's not much in my textbook about it, but best I got.